Hi, I'm Faith Anna, AE4FH, and this is Bob from TN07 Engineering's Whiskey 4 Alpha Zulu Mike. So first off, Bob, Yes. why do you call it TN07? The reason we call it TN07, that's the airport identifier for our airport. The FAA assigns the identifier, and since we're a small airport in Tennessee, they assigned us TN07. So it's like the seventh one in Tennessee? I beg your pardon? So it's like the, t the seventh one in Tennessee? I don't know. That seems to be a random thing. A friend over uh, a mile from us has TN14, but mm -hmm. they assigned it. It's just like a call sign. The FAA just assigned it, and we're happy with it. So we figured, well, why not show our pride in being an aviator and loving aviation, but also amateur radio as well. So we have used your, your masks for about six months now, mm -hmm. and we actually really like them. We've used them for field day to hold up um, double bazookas, which Excellent. is mostly what we've used them for. And Excellent. we also used them during the IOTA contest when we went down to Marathon in the Florida Keys. Excellent. Enjoyed to, your videos. Yeah. Enjoyed them very much, yes. So we found that worked, but we're, as you know, we're also going down in December to the Dry Tortugas, right. and we're planning on using your masts. But what other stuff do you have that could make it more lightweight and more directional and better performance? We have a couple antennas for you guys to try. Our standard is a 31 and a half foot self-supporting vertical. Uh, it can have radials on it. It has a matching device that goes in the bottom. You hook it up directly to your uh, antenna tuner and your rig. It's very lightweight. It weighs about six pounds. It's self-contained. It has been adapted to fit your two and a half inch mast. This is a two inch uh, support. You use the two and a half inch support with our other antenna that you have. We've adapted it to your two and a half inch so you guys don't have to carry yet another tube and plate because of the weight considerations. Another antenna system that we have for you, have developed for you guys actually, is an X beam. This particular deal is, when it's configured and set up, will be a full size 20 meter beam. This beam also has been adapted to fit the products that you already have. The idea being that this complete full-size beam will package in an area four foot long, four inches by four inches square, and weighs about three pounds. So the whole thing is set up for lightweight because of the transport considerations. Um, we found both these antennas to be very efficient, very effective. Um, I don't expect you to have any difficulty with them all. Now anxious to talk with you guys on there from the, when you get down to the drive to tickets. Uh, another item that we have that may be of interest uh, to you, I don't know how much UHF and VHF activity, activity you're going to have. It's possible to use this mast here that you'd have extended full height to 35 feet, but uh, it has an adapter on it, <clears throat> excuse me, where your UHF, VHF antenna will actually fit on top of it without any consideration of weight and so on, and simply through feed through the mass, just like you do now, and uh, virtually weigh nothing, an extra pound. So you'll be on UHF, VHF, HF with a full-size beam, and also all VHF bands with the vertical you're going to carry with you. Hmm. Yeah, because we do bike events, and last year during one of them, um, there were, some of our friends were at a different rest station okay. and they couldn't reach the repeater that they needed to reach. This so shouldn't... maybe this will help. I think it will. Actually, we have this offering for public service uh, units as well. In fact, we have one featured over our public safety uh, emergency management uh, <laughs> bill on the wall there that uh, they use it in conjunction with their equipment because oftentimes they'll be out in a hilly area where they can't hit the repeater. By using this with their antenna on top, they're able to go up 28 feet uh, in the air and hit the repeater. So exactly the issues you guys are having with your bike-a-thon, so are the public service people, and we've resolved And I think you'll find this work quite well, and you already have the equipment. All you have to do is put the adapter on top, through feed, through the mast, that's all there is to it. So if these work out well, would you sell them to other people that also have these same problems? We would be delighted to. And how much do you think they would be cost? Very affordable. That would be nice because some people just have them really expensive and for some people they can't afford that much. No, our intent is, is not just because we have a solution to a product that doesn't mean that we need to overprice things. Our idea is to have an affordable, portable, 
practical. We can't beat the laws of physics. We know that. But what we can do is offer a product that makes sense and that every single one of them has been field tested. I think you guys are going to enjoy our product down on the Dry Tortugas. Um, looking forward to seeing your videos on it. Once again, as I've said before, how very proud we are of you and your family. Thank you. You're welcome. So yeah, it seems like these would really help, especially this one, the X beam, and it's only one letter difference from a hex beam, but well, it's also it's it's yeah. entirely different configuration. This would be we offer a hex, a hex beam. Hex beam is a little more complicated to put together. If if we thought the hex beam would be more appropriate for the dry tortugas, we absolutely would offer it. But I think you're going to find that this, because of its portability and the ease of construction, is going to be. A lot more practical for what you guys have in mind. Yeah, it's also less stuff to put together. And if less, it's less stuff, stuff put together. It's less weight. That's right. And once you get it tuned, um, it, it's just take it apart and put it back together. Easy, easy peasy. Hmm. Yeah, seems like that would really help. I think so. I think you guys enjoy it. We're anxious to talk with you when you get down there. Yeah, I think it's going to be fun because there. A lot of people want that grid square in that island, so See, I think we'll be able to make a lot of people you happy. Will, you will. You make a lot of people happy, and everybody's going to want to talk to you. Are your sisters going with you? Yes, Hope's going. Hope's going. She's going to get on the air as well, yeah. and when you're busy talking, she'll be doing goofy things in the background to just make everybody laugh. <laughs> Why does she do that? We just do it. See, you know, that's we what's like, so cool about we like to make some. Sometimes we like to make it funny to keep people entertained. But see, that's what it's all about. This is a hobby, but, but, but the deal is it's a hobby until it's an emergency, mm -hmm. right? And when it's an emergency, we shift gears. And the trick is being able to make that change. And you guys obviously are able to do it, and we do it as well. That's what's cool about our hobby. Mm -hmm. And it's unlimited as far as opportunities for people. This is it. Yeah, thank you for all that you have done in trying to help us out. Our pleasure. Our treat. Thank you. Welcome. 73.